for both Greek 1000 and Latin 1000, the student is looking at acquiring basic reading knowledge of those two languages. Now we're not expecting that the students have any background whatsoever in ancient Greek or in Latin. So what happens is you come into the classroom and we teach you, for instance, what a verb is and what it looks like in English and then what it looks like in Latin or in Greek, what the equivalent is. So in every case we're going back and forth between the language that the students are familiar with and the new one that the student is learning. The structure is based on the textbooks that we use for each course. Uh, there is a chapter by chapter progression where you will learn certain parts of speech, certain syntaxes, certain approaches to writing the language. Uh, there's usually a vocabulary quiz every week. There is also a set of homework exercises that are based on translating either from the original language into English or from English into the original language. With both courses, they're taught four hours a week, which is a bit more than the average class here at Trent, but most of the languages, especially ones with which students are not familiar, require that you really immerse yourselves in them. So four hours a week for Latin, four hours a week for Greek at the first year level, and then when you move on to the second year level, it becomes three hours a week. What we're concentrating on is the acquisition of reading skills in ancient Greek. We don't teach modern Greek, it's just ancient Greek and Latin. Uh, so there's no oral component to it. We're not talking about conversational Latin. So if you want to go to the Vatican and speak to the Pope in Latin, you'd probably need a bit more Latin than what we're teaching in this first year course. I took an ancient history course in first year and loved it. And it was suggested that I take languages, so I did. And it just, it grew on me. I guess it helps with work ethic because you got to work on it all the time. You can't really slack because it's something you need to be picking up and doing over and over again to remember. Uh, but I think it's just, I kind of look at it like a puzzle and you're putting it together type thing. And I like puzzles. <laughs> so I enjoy it because I think it's challenging enough but also really rewarding that it appeals to me. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I was intimidated by that at first. It's actually quite a beautiful script. I love rewriting Greek because it's just so pretty to write. <laughs> the only writing you'll have to do in ancient Greek or ancient Latin is um, reading composition. And that's, you might get a few sentences that are in English and you have to translate it into ancient Greek or uh, Latin. The professors are always very accessible. Most of the time, if you have a professor teaching Greek or Latin, they want to encourage it and they will go out of their way to help you if you are struggling and you show that you want to do better and you are going to take the time to do better, they will help you. We used to um, do a lot of homework actually in this room because this is the classics resource room and we just go knock on whoever was around. If they're in their office, we knock on their door and be like, can you help us because we're struggling here. <laughs> Show up to class, <laughs> do your homework. If you work hard, you're going to do well.